42 foot wingspan, this thing. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day, it's beautiful. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say. Bam! Okay, so I'm doing this because of you, old gravy leg. <laughs> I love that name, by the way. Um, you kind of told me to do a vlog. So I'm doing a vlog. Not just a vlog, a flog. What's a flog? It's a flight plus vlog. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so what am I doing today? That is the most important question, right? Because what's a vlog if I'm not telling you about what the hell I'm doing? I'm gonna go fly. It's Sunday, I'm gonna go hit up the locals, we're gonna go have fun. Before I get into all of that, I have to get a machine running. So if you've watched me on twitch.tv slash Donelicious, you know that I've been working on some raggy builds. Glam, this is what we're working on right now. If I get this going before uh, flying today at the field with the friends, um, I've built it. I haven't tested it beyond plugging in power to see if it catches fire. <laughs> Let's do a quick video test to see if this thing works. Video! I hope to get some video. And we have video! I, I need some background music for this. Hey, background music, where are you at? There's background music. Why do you haunt me so? Okay, so I'm not sure 100% what's going on with the machine. I plug in the battery, all the ESCs do their initial boot up, but then when I go to arm the ESC, nothing happens. Why couldn't you just work? And that's how you put on a quad diaper for your transmitter. Little acro whoop. Charge batteries. When we get there, because I am running out of time to do stuff. So you can see we have a mountain of online batteries, goggles, all that good stuff. <laughs> okay, now that we're back in the present, I'm all packed up, ready to go to the field, flying with the locals, just having some fun, nothing too special for today, but realistically, flying with other people, that's the real specialness of this hobby, I think, and um, something that makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, flying alone is fun, but flying with friends makes it so much better. Pretty mostly through it. Oh my god, March is amazing. I'm being bombarded with EMF radiation from the power lines. It's gonna drive me insane. It's gonna give me brain tumor cancers. Right on, so I'm here at the Scotts Valley Sky Park uh, old airport runway. Um, as you can see, this is a giant empty lot. <laughs> But it's a perfect place to fly drones, and it's a place that we have written permission to fly at, so we're not disturbing anybody and all that noise. That being said, I really wish we had a few trees to fly around. Um, so I'm going to try to set up a little bit of a course today. It's only going to be a few gates. Basically, I just want to practice some gate stuff and have some fun with it. Um, and honestly, I don't feel like I need a giant field to have fun and fly, so... Yeah, hopefully some people show up, but if not, hey, I got the field to myself. Oh god! <laughs> Those three gigs just kicked my 
chaos trying to set up. Like physically and pain now. I don't like having to do that. Um, yeah. Really wish some people would have shown up to the field to help set up, but whatever. I didn't really tell too many people about it. And quite honestly, it's so freaking windy, I couldn't blame anybody for not wanting to be out here. Like, I'd rather be home playing a simulator right now. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah. It's oh yeah, I'm not getting up. And the, where's the bathroom? No, that was that was my quadcopter having a, a mental breakdown. <laughs> so I, I should have checked the motor screws. I didn't realize that was gonna be a thing. So the motor was chattering and ended up screwing itself loose, which has been a problem with 3D, but it's all in one piece, and I don't have any more screws with me, so I think that might actually be it for the day. Oh, oh well, I got to chase the, war chase the warbird, and I got some cool footage. So, I'm getting some good flights in. Even a couple flights, I think we're all worth it. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Oh, I love Santa Cruz. You end up going down the street and you'll hear like five different languages and uh, I see people from six different countries. I just dropped my phone. That just happened. God damn it. Hey, it still works! Yay! Looking forward to getting back home. The DSLR ran out of battery, so I'm using the GoPro right now to vlog with. <sighs> Bummed. Ended up losing a motor on a quad, but it should be an easy fix, so I'm gonna take a small break. Chill the F out.
and start fixing some stuff. So as I was flying, I ended up having this weird chat chitter chatter coming off the machine, like you could hear it from a distance. And I kept bringing the machine in to check to see what was wrong with it. And uh, I couldn't figure it out, like I kept checking every motor, I checked all, like I checked everything. Like it was driving me mad, I was like, what is that chattering? And eventually I was like, no, what, screw it, I'm just going to fly through it. <laughs> And uh, it, it's gonna be okay. Trust in the machine, right? Well, the chattering kept going. It got worse, it got worse, it kept getting worse. And uh, eventually, I want to do like a snap roll, and the motor just flips off. Okay, we've got three of them, or two of them threaded. I'm gonna add one more for measure. Zoe, you should be using four screws. You had a machine come out of the air. But Zoe, why are you only using three? There's four. Zoe, me. That's what people sound like to me. <laughs> You're making fun of me. You, you're saying I can't do this. You're saying that, you know, I'm doing it wrong. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. I have my ways of doing things. You can have your ways of doing things. And together we will have our own ways of doing things. So we have our uh, Flying Bear 01 frame put back together. This is my current preferred 3D setup. I absolutely love this thing. Um, it's agile, the CG is really neutral. I added a little bit to the standoffs to raise it up a little bit. Um, with the taller stators that I'm using, the CG on the frame was a little bit low. Um, but we have that machine back together. What we need to work on now is fixing the machine that we were working on earlier. Uh, we know motor number one, this back motor right here, that motor for some reason is just not spinning up. I'm not 100% sure why, but the good news is that the motor does engage. When you plug in the battery, the ESC does turn it. So that means it's getting power and the ESC is making a noise. So, it's one of two problems. One, the wiring connection from the ESC to the flight controller is broken. Or two, the flight controller's pinout, where it sends the signal out on the board, is broken. And if that's the case, we will change out the wiring and make it use a different pinout and then remap the motor to that new pinout. Is that Michael Sierra? What am I watching? That's Bill Murray. What the heck am I watching? What is this? A very merry Christmas. What Netflix? I did not put this on the screen. Squeak, squeak, squeak. So right now, I think I found the issue. It looks like the ground is touching ever so slightly to the signal on that ESC and that's causing the issue we're having. So I'm gonna take off this top plate or this bottom plate. Bam. Now we can see our problem child. Let's see if I can get you a better look. So as ever so slightly a thread of wire connecting between the two. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I mean, they're not physically touching, but they look like they could be arcing. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna plug it in and see what happens. I'm hoping it doesn't blow up, but never know. That just happened. Hey! Look at that noise. Yay! Cool, so now I'm going to button this back up, swap out two of these cables, and double check the motor direction. And yeah, I think that's about it though. I think we solved the problem. Woohoo!
I think we have everything fixed. I'm gonna do one last modification to the build before I call it done. And that is going to be hot gluing the receiver to the flight control board so it doesn't wiggle around and the connections come undone and break off. Uh, so we got the hot glue gun firing up and we've got our fraggy WBX ready to go. Oh, the hot glue is so groovy. Yeah, we're hot gluing to the wiring, but hey, at least the receiver's not going to be moving around so much that we stress the connections on anything and cause this thing to break in a crash. The whole idea of hot, gr uh, hot gluing these connections is so when the machine does crash and this jiggles around, we won't be um, adding stress to those connections. Apparently we're bulletproofing this machine. With everything we've done on this build, it should be pretty much indestructible. Um, but you know me, I like to break things. Let's just button this thing up real quick. One last screw and we are good to go. Right on, so we've got everything working. Let's see if we can get this thing to actually fly. And as you can see, I'm a fan of Portal. <laughs> Here at Aperture Laboratories, we only make the finest science experiments. Kind of scared to stand next to this thing right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right on, so it works, everything is done. Thank you for watching this vlog. I've been Zoe FPV. This has been a, I don't know, experiment in doing something different. Hopefully you enjoyed today. I know I had some fun um, and I'm in a bit of pain. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. So like, comment, subscribe, all those amazing things that you do and uh, keep being awesome and thanks for watching. Watch your land views, follow social media. Social media. See the world from a brand new perspective. Perspective, perspective. That's subjective. Zoe, flying drones, building new characters, creating new things. Long time to Zoe, flying drones, building new characters, creating new things. Long time to Zoe, flying drones, building new characters, creating new things. Long time to Zoe. If you want to support more content like this from the Flying Wookie, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, follow my videos on Airviews, become my patron on Patreon, join the conversation on Discord, and as always, I've been Zoe FPV. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time.